Hey, hey, hey. <coughs> and welcome to Disturbed. Another tall day. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Another tall day passes as you struggle to manage your failing farm. Farm? Your crops are beginning to wilt, and your cow is sick. Oh, fuck. Not my cow. For some time the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Perhaps it is up to you. You've made up your mind. You are going to do something about it. Oh, it's one of these where you go back and forth as well. You stand in front of your home or home pondering what you should do next. to the shed. You attempt to open the shed door, but the door won't budge. You remember locking it some time ago, but you can't remember what you did with the key. Let's have a look at the crops. A patty fires the crops that you have laboured so hard to prosper these past months. A penetrating golder reminds you that the plants are decaying away and time is running short. Let's go back to the house, sorry, let's check the house, yeah? Stand in front of the home. Go in the house. Entering the house you feel a subtle uneasiness as if growing blight outside has penetrated the walls of your safe haven. From what you see, however, everything is in the same as you left it. Perhaps this is maybe a good time to just lay in bed and wish that your problems will go away. You fight the notion, but the temptation is still there. And my throat has a frog in it. <clears throat> it's like that other game where if you click stuff, stuff happens. Uh, open a chest. You open a chest to find nothing more than a pile of papers. It seems you have less valuables than you anticipated. You close the chest. Read in your journal. Dear journal, another unusual day on the farm. The crops are growing with good health. Bethany is also doing quite well. Never disappointed with the milk she provides. If things continue to go well, I might be able to invest in more animals. A farmer can only be so social with a cow. Dear Jane, not today's been an unfortunate day. Somebody broke into my shed and stole some things. I usually don't mind if someone steals a bite to eat from the garden, but to turn my equipment? Well, I put a lock on the door and hid the key. Nobody will ever get into my stuff again. Dear journal, I woke one night to a foul smell I've never come across before. Took a step outside to see what I could find, but I found nothing after searching about the farm. Wherever it is, it must be bad. I should take a trip to the city and see what this is about. Lay in bed. Lay in your bed and fall asleep. To the light sound of blowing wind outside against the grass. Oh shit. You begin to hear whispers and chants, but you can't take, make anything of it. An image appears before you, a stone. Growing as if it were alive, the chance get louder as your vision grows more detail. You reach toward the stone with your hand. As your finger makes contact, a clash of thunder rattles around you. Your clothing and skin start to flake away like dust in the wind. The particles flow into the stone, sapping the life from your body. You feel pain you have never experienced before, and fear begins to flood over you. You suddenly see yourself lying in bed never to wake up again. Your adventure ends here. Oh. Aha, so there we go. So, hit the key somewhere. Only if I've got to click it. Right, so this time we'll go to the crops. Pathify you. Go into the pen. Toxic fume burns your nose as you enter the pen. Your poor cow lies lifeless on the ground as your growing blight slowly begins to consume her body. My cow's dead. You feel sick to your stomach as you stand here, especially as you stare at the black mushrooms that dot the ground. <laughs> Gotta grab a mushroom. You nail down and grab a mushroom. As you begin to rip it out of the ground, a cloud of spores spray from the mushroom. Your hands begin to burn and melt as you observe them. Slowly your body shrivels up into a dark, moist consistency as the poison spreads. 
you die eventually after crawling about on the ground. Your adventure ends here. Well, I think this means we've got to inspect the water now, don't it? Go into the pit. Inspect the water, looking for anything abnormal. You notice the water has a dark consistency to it. Dropping a stone into it, black particles from the bottom swirl about like a thunderstorm. Your face shrivels in disgust. Leave the pen. Follow the path. You continue down the trail for a while until you see a cave off in the distance. You pause, questioning if there could be something helpful in there. Go into the cave. A bear eats you. There is a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks. The temperature significantly cools as you enter the cave. You notice that there is a different smell. Would you welcome it compared to the deathly blight out found outside? Go further into the cave. No, oh, what did I say? Before you take your next step, a large bear emerges from the darkness. You realise that you have made a terrible mistake even thinking that something helpful could be in here. Fight the bear! You scan the ground and notice there appear to be a nearer structure. You grab and throw them at the bear. You begin to do so as the bear approaches you. One right after another, you throw rocks as hard as you can. <laughs> the bear charges at you as you bend over to grab another rock. Tackling you to the ground, the bear bites into your neck, your body quickly goes limp, and you die. Your journey ends here. Can I click back now? Go to the crops. Skip. Follow the path. Skip. Go into the cave. Skip. Go further into the cave. Skip. Run away. The moment you turn to run, the bear roars with a deep growl, shaking the loose stones about the cave. All you can think about is making it back home in one piece. <gasps> you make it to the trail. The bear catches up with you, tackling you to the ground. You scream in pain as the bear rips you apart. Your adventure ends here. <laughs> Not doing very good, am I? Right. Sorry, skip. Crop. Skip. Path. Skip. Continue down the path. You come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. Oh, I should have clicked the bear's face. Inspect the wagon. You look about the mess and find bits of food and clothes scattered about the scene. You notice a key on the ground during your search. You pick up the key and continue on your way. After what felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Nearby the path is a small shack similar to the house you have on the farm. The man that lives there is a kind fellow, from what you recall. Maybe he's home. Inspect the shack. You walk toward the structure and knock the door. You scratch the back of your head, figuring about the person that lives there is currently occupied. If not, elsewhere. You remember picking up a key from the wagon and use it on the door. The door unlocks. Oh, so he's, he probably got attacked by the bear, didn't he? You decide to help yourself. Is the bear in here? As over the empty room, you realise something terrible must have taken place here. The room is a wreck, just like the wagon. You're overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. Back to the book on the table. You pick up the book and start to flip through the pages. You discover that this is a journal. Reading a passage too can't hurt. Today's trading went smoothly, thank goodness. What I am thrilled most about, however, is one of my buddies mentioned to me that the conclusion of our day. Apparently there is a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region. With a good catch, I can make enough to move things forward. I was caught off guard when he mentioned that. Nobody had been able to catch any from there. I guess your typical fishing rod won't do the trick. Well, what can be done about it then? Something to be intrigued about, I suppose. These past couple of weeks have been really rough for me. My trading business has gone under and I've lost nearly everything I own. This has pushed me to extremes. Well, that can't be helped now. I am leaving this place forever, never to return. 
The land is dying, there is nothing but darkness here. Anyone reading this should leave while they can. You can't find a name to give this man, but regardless of the name, you've got chills running down your spine. Open a trap door. You observe the trap door and notice the lock, keeping it closed. With the key, you unlock the hatch and get it open. Without thinking, you travel downward. Your adventure ends here. Walking down the steps leading below, the air attacks your body with a piercing cold. You notice maybe that there is a woman chained to the... Oh shit, Reese. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness surround you as you stay in this awful place. You tremble as you talk. You tremble as you try to form words in your mouth. Literally, just as I did. If I hadn't said anything, I'd come in and know that looked like good acting. You there. Let me out of here. The pressure of such demand makes you freeze. You take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. What you got locked up to begin with? You'll never believe me even if I told you the truth. Something brought you here. Please, have mercy on me. Free the woman. You approach the woman and unlock the shackles that bind her. As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Oh, thank you so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength but starts to stand up on her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. I will now do you a favour. What seems to be the face of health and this woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. You feel the chilling grip of bones about bone hands lock onto your arms. Energy flees from your body as you fall to your knees. You feel the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. It is unfortunate that your journey ends here. Mm -hmm. So, this time... Oh, sorry, skip. Where's the key? Sometimes with these games, if you just click things, go back outside. Crops, path, path, inspect wagon. nothing else to interact with you make your way upstairs as you exit you can hear the woman left behind you the voice causes you the shake to shake you leave the shack as fast as you could you leave the shack and cross the bridge before something bad happens you cross the bridge safely and continue down the trail after all that has happened you feel that you shouldn't take a moment to rest you find a spot under a tree sit down Getting comfortable, you tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. Well, let's take a nap, eh? Or should we quick save? Take a nap. You close your eyes and your body relaxes, you fall asleep within seconds. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. Details emerge as you gaze. You wonder who this might be. A bad feeling and overcomes you as you realise who this is the woman in it. You try and wake yourself up. You wake up and jump to your feet, looking about yourself and your surroundings. All seems well. You can't help but feel fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay here. Moving forward seems like the only logical option now. You reach a point where the trail splits into two paths. Which way should you go? Well, we'll definitely save here. And we'll start with the left. After continuing down the path for some time, you come to a stop. You notice that there is some sort of trail that leads through the grass up toward the nearby hill. If you had not stopped, you probably would never have noticed. Which way do you go? For God's sake. We'll carry you with the top option. Continue down the path. You walk for some time to an endless field of grass. There is a stone well near the path. 
You'll inspect the well. You peer down the well. Ooh, something. Other than the evident water at the bottom, there is a coin resting against the wall of the well. If possible, you feel you should go down and take the coin. Grab the coin. You lean over the edge of the well. There is no possible way you can obtain the coin by reaching for it. With this in mind, you turn and climb down along the inner wall of the well. You take a few successful steps down. When your luck runs out, you misplace your foot and you fall. Tumbling about, your body clashes against the stone walls. With a single knock on the head, you lose all consciousness of your accident. With a splash, you fall into the water. Your body sinks effortlessly, and you drown without realising it. Your adventure ends here. Low. Yeah. Go left. Continue down the path. Continue on. Walking over hills of grass and grain, you reach the walls of Aramor several times a year. You come here to trade goods from the farm. You discover the plague that has spread to your farm has also spread all the way out here. The path before you is overrun with blight. Continue across. You've come a long way and you don't desire to turn back now. You march forward into the tainted soil. Before you can realise what happened, you sink completely under the ill soil. Darkness consumes you and your lungs struggle for air. Your body burns in pain as you suffocate and die. Well, I'm going to leave you on the flip-flop there. Your adventure ends here. We will load. And I will see you on the flip-flop. Toodle, pip.